Ripley done at Georgia this past year, the first thing I wanted to bring up is just where he's been lining up positionally. And this is all from PFF. Uh, so everyone can see he lined up primarily or sorry, exclusively as a right tackle for Georgia all of last year, 121 snaps. Uh, really, they were using him on and off and really to supplement injuries. He wasn't a full time starter by any means. But, you know, this is the type of player. And I know our Adam Brown from from X's and Knowles, who does excellent, great work, our offensive line coach for all of us, was t- was saying that this kid is a premier tackle. He's going to play left tackle. If not, he's going to play right tackle. But it does seem a, like a thing for Florida State where he would slide into that left tackle spot. And then if you want to talk about the moves that happen after that, well, what's happening next, to me, and, and, and let's bounce this around a little bit, I think what would happen is that you, you stick in him at that left tackle spot. You keep Les Harris at right tackle where we've seen him. And to me, Robert Scott, he's a guard and he's, he swings over to right guard. You keep Dylan Givens, keep Dylan Givens at left guard. And then honestly, I don't, I don't know what the hell is going on with the center position. I'm still have big question marks about that personally. And that's something we can spend some time on another day. Um, but you what want you to talk about options, uh, like in that scenario, that's kind of a big question. Like if you're going to move him out, like where, where does, does he just fall in the, in the lineup or, or in the depth chart? Like, cause I, I think he's good. I, I do. I think he's good too, but I mean, what, what do you do in that situation? Because I, you stick him at center, make him compete there. Um, I, to yeah. me, and we'll, we'll talk about this later. Caden Lyles did not impress in the spring game and he's just not up to speed yet. In my opinion, he's, I, and I think I do want to give him the benefit of the doubt in the sense that look, he's coming from a system that's completely different and the language of what he's doing is completely different. Everything is different football wise for him. So it's a tough transition and center is one of those spots that is so tough, even on the offensive line. Um, so, you know, I don't know how the rest of that is going to work out. But if this is the type of thing we're talking about, that's only good news for Florida State because last yeah, year, yeah. I mean, think about where this team was in the fall. And now we're talking about, hey, do you move Robert Scott inside? What do you do? At, these types of questions that we're asking now, they're much better questions to ask than well, what kind of depth does Florida State yeah. have? Because last year they were depending on guys they just – did not want to even use last season. Yeah, if I could quote Alex Atkins quoting The Wire, it's one of those good problems. Like, you have the ability to rotate those players around. You have been doing situational work where you have been repping them in at different positions. You have somebody like Mo Smith who can, like, absolutely go anywhere. You are in such a better position right now than, I mean, yeah, last year, but think two years ago when, like, literally, like, if somebody went in, you were specifically like, oh, there's going to be a sack on this play. So <laughs> you, Florida State is in a much better position now, and that is a huge testament to what Alex Atkins has done.